Silo, the season finale is now out on Apple TV for you guys to go and check out. I have just watched it. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on it. Smash your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you guys think of the finale and the season as a whole? Let me know. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's talk about this absolutely gobsmacking finale right now. Okay, so the season finale of Silo is now officially done and dusted. Man, I mean, I'm actually lost for words at this finale because I did not expect that to happen at all. Wow, like just wow. This show has been absolutely fantastic from the first episode to the final episode. This season has been absolutely outstanding. It's just... The mystery element, everything, the twists and turns, just you think you've got it figured out. Next thing you know, a curveball comes and it's like opens the can of worms again. The finale is no different. So we pick up right where we left off last week's episode. So they're obviously tapping in. They're seeing the screen of the actual outside world. And now they're looking to try and get it so that everyone can see it because they're like, this is a lie in that. So that's all happening. Julie ends up getting arrested in this episode as well. And this is where we see her talk to Walks. And Walks gets her tape. Because her tape is better than their tape. And they swap that out for when she's wearing the suit. And they tape that up. And then Julie obviously gets sent out to go clean. So that is the main gist of this episode of the finale. Is wrapping up those storylines everything like that. We obviously now find out why. Um... What's his name? George died. How he died. So we have all that. But man, when Julie goes out to clean, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that happening when she went out to clean. I always thought that they were lying about the outside world. I always thought that that video footage of the green is real. I thought, okay, it's yeah. There's poison in the suits and everything like that, and that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to kill him. Well, everything that you thought about that theory is just thrown out the window in this finale. So Julie goes out to clean. She refuses to clean the camera, and as she walks, the mayor says, "Okay, she's she's about to die." And so the idea is, she walks past a certain point. And most of the people die. Because they think it's all green out there. They die. However, Julie doesn't die. She doesn't die. And she's seeing the green and everything like that. But she figures out that the rocks there aren't real. It's fake. I wasn't ready for that. And then she looks at the tape. And says, supply, have better tape. So, obviously, at that point, the tape obviously must leak whatever's on the outside into the suit, which ends up killing the person in the suit. Because when Julie goes past, when Jules goes past this one particular point, it's a wasteland. Like, it is a wasteland. So, I was not ready for it to be a complete and utter wasteland. Like, it's just destruction everywhere, just dead. So, are they telling the truth? That's the question. And it looks like they were telling the truth. However, the mayor figures out that she's figured that all out. And this is when we get that wide look at the whole area. And there are multiple silos. There are multiple... Like, I'm talking... Looks like hundreds of silos there. So... This isn't the... So that must be what the number 18 means. This must be silo 18. And the rest. There are so many more silos. Absolutely insane. I did not expect that at all. They had me thinking... One... They had me thinking the suits were poisonous. It was green on the outside. And that Julie was going to go on the outside. She was going to either not go without a suit. She was going to take a helmet off straight away. And she was going to show everyone that it's green and it's going to be a big rebellion in that silo. I kind of had an idea that there would be multiple silos. 
that was a theory that I know some people had as well, and I was kind of leaning to that, especially when last week's episode with 18, I was kind of like, that kind of makes sense now. But I did not expect that ending. I did not. Julie is alive. She's out there walking around in the wasteland. So she can see that there are other silos and everything like that. I'm gobsmacked. That this is just true. What is going on, man? I just never expected it. And that's what shows how good of a show this is. It directs you one way and then spins the 180 on you and sends you back the other way. That whole entire moment when Jules is outside, she is out there cleaning and that. My jaw is on the ground because I'm like, what is going on here? I thought this was going to be, she was going to show everyone that it's green out there. It's livable. But no, it's a freaking wasteland. Like, what is going on in this show? That's a testament to the writing of this season and this show in general of how good it is to misdirect you one way and then send you back the other way. What is going to happen with Billings now moving forward? How? What's going to happen with there? What's going to happen with Sims? Season 2 is going to be absolutely insane. Because we have Julie out there in the wasteland. We have all the stuff going on in the silo. What's going to happen with that? Where's Julie going to go? Like, what... what where is she going? I mean, I'm absolutely in... I'm just... My mind is blown at the moment by this show, man. The writing has been fantastic. The character arcs have been fantastic. Jules has had this beautiful character arc. And this moment where she has it with her father again here, it's just absolutely wholesome. She has that moment with Walks as well, where Walks goes out of the actual... Her house that she hasn't left for 25 years or so, and goes and gets that tape to get it swapped out. Like, this... It's just been absolutely fantastic. You have these characters who are supposed to be the villains of the show, which is the mayor and Sims, who are fantastic as well. They have their own little stuff going on. Billings is such a great character. The music choice for this finale was absolutely perfect because it's sending you this message of like, she's going to be this hero. You're getting hero vibes from it. Like she's going to save everyone in the silo here. She's going to show them the truth. And then it does the 180, and it's just, the, the score just worked perfectly. The cinematography has been absolutely fantastic as well throughout it. I thought the design, the set designs and everything like that looked fantastic. This show has been a home run for me. From the first episode to the final episode, I have enjoyed every single episode. Every episode has put something on in that episode that has got me excited, that is sending me a direction. It's just, it's a fantastic mystery thriller that I think most people need to go and see because it's just so fantastic. It's not high octane action. It's a nice paced build up to a mystery that gives you this finale that is absolutely incredible. This has been one of the best shows of the year so far. It's just, wow. I mean, this is a huge win for Apple TV and I need the next season now. I need it right now. So let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of the season as a whole? What did you think of Silo's finale? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down there. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.